Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good evening eh, to all students. Okay, so today we will continue our uh, lab session for biochemistry bio 462. Okay, so I already given you all the details about the manual today. So please open up. So I already upload inside your WhatsApp. Eh? Okay, right. So once you open your manuals, okay. So make sure they are bio 462. Okay, and then. It stated there experiment number two, protein determinations. Okay, uh, there are two videos that you can look in YouTube. Okay, so after the end of the briefing, I will show the video for you. Okay, video number one is HDB3SF4YHKMS. Okay, this one you can download it and then you can see the video. Okay, there are several questions you have to answer for this uh, experiments okay so please see the video first and then you have to answer from that okay okay number one name the dye used in the breadfruit essay okay number two state the color changes that occurs when the protein combined with that the dye reagents okay what are the dye, dye, dye reagents dye reagents that used in the breadfruit essay okay so number three in the low protein essay name the bond in the protein that binds to the copper ions okay so all three questions you have to answer okay in one paper and then number four you have to done the uh, by using the graph okay so what you have to do okay a breakfast essay was conducted to determine the total protein concentration in the samples okay a volume of 2 microliter of original samples was diluted to 100 microliter with a buffer before performing the assay. So the diluted sample gave the absorber at 595 nanometer of 0.255. Okay. All right, so using the data below, you have to plot the graph. Okay, so which uh, you have to plan the graph. Which part is the Y axis and which part is X axis? So I given a protein concentration in microgram per mil, starting from 25 until 1,500 microgram per mil. And then you have a numbers of absorbent marks. Okay. So example, if your protein microgram per mil is 125, you have about 0 0.087. Um, wavelength, eh? okay, absorbent, eh? right? So what you have to do, you have to plot the standard curve based on the data given, okay? The B, you have to determine the concentration of the protein, okay, in the diluted samples, okay? Last one, calculate the total protein concentration in the original samples, okay? So that's all you have to do for your biochemistry lab number two here today. So in other words, experiment experiment for protein determinations. You can find all the answer when you see these two types of video, right? So is there any question before I show you the video? No, sir. Okay. So I will show you the video and then you can see it and try to find the answer right so but after finish that you have to upload it inside our google classroom so this is this will be your second task okay guys um in this video i'm going to speak about the bradford essay everything about bradford essay uh the principle behind bradford essay and the calibration curve used to measure the concentration of proteins in a solution so let first let's see what is bradford essay so bradford essay is a colorimetric essay it depends on the color of the solution um, it, it, uh, it uses a spectrophotometer. It's a quantitative assay to measure the protein concentration in a solution. Now, how does Bradford assay works, work? Okay. 
the principle of Bradford assay. Bradford assay depends mainly on this molecule, which um, which is called Kumasi Brilliant Blue. So, Kumasi Brilliant Blue is a very special molecule, and it has a character which is used for the Bradford assay. Is that Kumasi Brilliant Blue can exist in two states? Okay, the first is the unstable state, which is uh, the cationic one, and the second is the stable anionic state. The very special about Kemasi Brilliant Blue is that the two states don't have the same color, but the unstable state is reddish, reddish to brownish, like the color you're seeing here. And the stable state is bluish, like the color you're seeing here. So this is the character we use for the Bradford essay. Now, how does it work? Um, you have a protein, okay? You have a solution of proteins and you want to know the concentration of your proteins in the solution. It doesn't matter if you have one protein or a hundred of proteins in your solution. The Bradford assay will give you the whole concentration of your proteins in the solution. So you have the protein solution. You take a sample of this protein solution, you mix it with the Kumasi Brilliant Blue in its unstable state. Okay, you mix them together. Now, uh, the medium is acidic, in an acidic medium. Now, you should know that the proteins mainly are positively charged in an acidic uh, medium. Uh, why? Because of the isoelectric point. If you want to know more about isoelectric point, actually, I have a previous video. You, um, uh, the link is in the description of this video. You go to the other video, you can know more about isoelectric point. But in general, I'm telling you the proteins are mainly, it depends, but they are mainly positively charged in an acidic medium, okay? So we mix the protein and the Kumasi Brilliant Blue. Now the Kumasi Brilliant Blue has a lone electron pair, okay? It has a lone electron pair and it gives, it can give this lone electron pair to the protein. And where exactly to the ionizable groups? So the protein is a chain of amino acids and each amino acid has a side chain. So the protein can have, may have many ionizable groups in its um, amino acids. So the Kumasi Brilliant Blue can give the protein this lone pair. And in this case, when the Kumasi Brilliant Blue give the protein a lone pair, the protein becomes unstable okay because of the lone pair it becomes unstable and then we have in the solution an unstable kumasi brilliant blue and an unstable protein now the kumasi brilliant blue is mainly negatively charged the unstable protein is mainly positively charged okay and then these two unstable molecules need to need they need to bind to each other in order to be stable so they bind to each other first, first of all, um, by ionic um, ionic forces, okay? Because this is negative, this is positive. So they, they bind together by an, uh, by an ionic uh, force. And then the, um, the attachment will be further forced by a hydrophobic van der Waals forces, okay? Why? Because the Kumasi Brilliant Blue has a non-polar region and the protein, the unstable protein, has hydrophobic focus on its uh, tertiary structure, so they can also bind to each other by van der Waals forces. Now this, uh, this binding, let's say, be between the protein and the Kumasi Brilliant Blue makes them to be stable, okay? And when the Kumasi Brilliant Blue is stable, it's not reddish anymore but it turns to be bluish okay so the unstable um Kumasi brilliant blue becomes stable and then the color becomes bluish so this is the main principle of the bradford essay this blue color depends on the amount of proteins in the inside the solution so when we have a little bit of proteins the bluish color will be light light blue and when we have more proteins in the solution, the blue color will be darker. So the darkest the blue color is, the more protein 
we have in the solution. This is the main principle of Bradford essay, okay? Now, these are the two Bradford uh, solutions. So this is the, unsta uh, so this is the unstable Kumasi brilliant blue, okay? It's reddish or brownish, we can say. Um, this is the stable one, it's bluish, and the blue color depends. The blue color varies from light blue to dark blue, depending on the amount of proteins in, inside the solution, okay? Now, this one, the reddish, uh, the unstable uh, Kumasi brilliant blue, absorbs light at 465 nanometers, okay? But this one absorbs light at 595 nanometers. And then we can say that the main principle of Bradford essay is this. So the more the solution absorbs light at 595, so the more this solution can absorb light at 595, it means that the more bluish color there is in the solution, and which means we have more protein, the highest the higher is the protein solution in the, uh, the, the higher is the protein concentration in the solution. Okay, this is the main principle. Okay, it, it depends on the blue color. And so it depends on the absorption on 595. Okay, now how can we measure the concentration of the protein in the solution? To measure the concentration of the protein in the solution, we need a calibration curve. And how to, how to make the calibration curve, okay? We take a protein, another protein of a known concentration, mainly we use BSA. So BSA is a protein used to make the calibration curve. Calibration curve, some people uh, call it the standard curve, okay? So to make the standard curve or the calibration curve, we use BSA, bovine serum albumin. We um, uh, we take a BSA solution of a known concentration. Let's say we have like two nanogram per microliter, okay? And we produce several uh, concentrations or several dilutions of this in Kumasi brilliant blue. What we get is this. So let's say this is a Kuma, this is Kumasi brilliant. If this is only Kumasi brilliant blue without any proteins. Here, let's say we, we, we add one microliter of this solution, we add two microliter, three microliter, four micro, microliter, and then we will have like serial dilutions of the, of the BSA protein, like two nanogram, two nanogram per, per milliliter, four, six, eight, we can, we can produce more. We can make 10, 12, okay? We can make it as much as we want. We can make one nanogram per milliliter, three nanogram per milliliter. We are free to, um, to make as much dilutions as we want. So if you, if you look at the color here, so the Kumasi, when the Kumasi Brilliant Blue is alone, it's like reddish, two nanogram is not so obvious the bluish color is not so obvious then four nanogram it becomes more and more bluish okay now we take these uh cuvette and we measure the absorption of these solutions uh in a spectrophotometer on 595 because we want to see how much bluish col color we have in the solutions Okay, we use the Kumasi Brilliant Blue um, as a blank in the spectrophotometer, and then we measure the absorption of the other solutions. Then we will get something like this, uh, a curve. So in the y-axis, we have the absorption of the solutions, okay? And in the x-axis, we have the concentration. As I told you, we can have as much concentrations as we want. Okay, here uh, I assumed we have one nanogram per milliliter, two, three, four. We are free. Now, um, normally the absorption should not be more than 0 0.1. If you, if you get an absorption more than 0 0.1, then you should dilute your protein sample more, okay? Because more, um, when the absorption is highest than uh, higher than uh, 0 0.1, it it will not be very precise. So better to have uh, absorption less than 0 
okay? Then you will get a curve. It looks somehow like this, okay? The higher, the higher concentration you have, the higher absorption you will get. So we don't need this, we need the uh, linear curve, okay? So we get the linear curve and we get the, the, the uh, equation of the curve. Now we have the equation, the y, y is the uh, uh, absorption, x is the concentration. So if I, have, if I have a protein sample, okay? Let's say I have a protein sample of an unknown concentration, I take, let's say, one microliter of this uh, of this solution. I mix it with Kumasi Brilliant Blue. I measure the absorption, and then I say the absorption is Y. And then all I have to do is to measure, is to calculate the X. And then I will get the concentration of my proteins. Okay. Um, this is everything I wanted to tell you about a Bradford essay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you really enjoyed it, please like the video and share it with your friends. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye. Hello guys. Um, in this video, I'm going to speak about Uh, students, uh, this is the process of Bradford essay. So, how you done the calibration curves from that? Okay. So, there will be another uh, videos that you can see on your manuals. So, that video explain about all the lorry essay method all about. So, I give you as a uh, assignment for you to do the uh, answering question. Eh? Okay. Is there any question before I leave it you for three hours? to do the works. Are you soalan tak? Any question? No, sir.